Hey everybody, it's Hybrid. Hey guys, it's Jay. We're coming at you with that one-two punch. Yeah, it's actually funny. Um, I, about about a year ago, I think we mm-hmm. made a video about the Batman reboot. But yeah. Now mm-hmm. it's revealed that instead of a Batman reboot per se, we're getting a team-up movie with mm-hmm. Superman, which will take the place of Man of Steel two, and I guess technically will also take the place of a Batman reboot. So, mm-hmm. look at which, that. Like, yeah, which is funny because, uh, like, you know, even you said, like, if they were going to do a Justice League, which was a bad decision, they should go with the World's Finest, but it's not called World's, uh, World's Finest. Maybe later on, like, maybe after the Justice League, they'll probably do a World's Finest, but I don't know, that'd, that'd be kind of weird if they did a World's Finest. Like, I don't know, I don't know why they just don't call it a World's Finest, because it doesn't make sense. Like, well, this one, they, they are saying it's going to be called Batman vs. Superman, but they don't have, like, it's not really legit, just what everybody's going by. But yeah. if you think about it, we get a Justice League, right? We get a Justice League movie in 2017, and after that, we get, like, a World's Finest. It just, it'd be weird, like, why why am I going to watch the World's Finest when I just had a full cast of Justice League amazing, like, you know, action scenes? But overall, I, I still think it's just, it's kind of weird for them to go with that. You know what I mean? A Batman vs. Superman yeah. thing. Yeah, like, honestly, I think naming-wise, from a marketing standpoint, it kind of makes sense why it's not World's Finest immediately. Because mm-hmm. the current DC comic called World's Finest is with Huntress and Power Girl. Mm-hmm. Then the current Batman Superman comic is called Batman Superman. Plus, if you put those names right out there from, like, the beginning, it mm-hmm. immediately attracts more, like, viewing and everything. Because even comic book fans that don't know World's Finest is a nickname for the team-up of Batman Superman. Mm-hmm. Like, everyone doesn't know that, basically, so by having Batman Superman. And I think, honestly, the versus is unneeded. Yeah. Because like, when people want to see the movie, they don't want to see Batman fighting Superman per se. They want to see them teaming up. Yeah, taking on, uh, and, like, you know, taking on whoever's going to be, you know, first off, we already know it's going to more likely Lex Luthor is going to be in the movie, right? That's just pretty much, you know, they, there, there was a lot of hints of him in the first one. So I wouldn't see why they, they, they wouldn't put Lex Luthor because somehow they still have to introduce... Uh, you know, kryptonite and all that. But another thing I want to talk about is just like, you know, the whole versus thing, you think about not, like a lot of movies that, you know, Alien versus Predator, Freddy versus Jason, all those weren't really big hits. You know, this is a big, big, big step if they're going to go with the versus thing because, you know, a lot of versus thing never usually works. You know, there's, there's so many things that you can do with, they, they could have got, I would have been fine if it was like Batman slash Superman because my buddy Froggy said that. Like, you know, that makes yeah. sense. Like Batman or Superman slash Batman world's finest or something like the men's like the men of tomorrow or something like that that would have been like a better name but for them to go with the verses i'm still kind of like eh it, it's a short title which I, I that's probably why they they want to go with it just because it's like the man of steel the dark knight batman begins you know warner Bros. want to go with the short like think about it you have arrow and you know they have like one liners or like two liners of like a like a title name so i i, w- I would understand the reason why they wouldn't go with like the, what i said like superman slash batman the men of tomorrow or like the world's finest or something like that. Yeah. I do think though, no matter what they choose, if they're going to have the name Superman in it or Batman in it, Mm -hmm. Superman, in my opinion, should take priority since it's supposed to be his sequel. Mm -hmm. I just think out of respect to the fact that it's supposed to be a sequel and the fact that they have the same cast returning from that movie, same production crew Mm -hmm. minus legendary. As far as I know, it's like Snyder's back directing it. So, I think it should mm-hmm. be Superman, Batman, not Batman, Superman. Mm-hmm. But then again, they're going to go with whatever they think will catch people's eye immediately. So mm-hmm. Batman gets it's people's probably, attention. And yeah, I think that's why the reason why they did that just to, you know, it's pretty much sure, like, you know, they deny it. Like, the reason why they did with the whole, you know, Batman in the first, if they're going to go with the Batman versus Superman or whatever, the reason why they brought Batman because he brings numbers, he brings viewers, he brings fans. And they want to compete with the Avengers. That's pretty much, you know, everybody's saying that it's true. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's true. You know, they want to yeah. compete with the 2015 movies like, you know, Star Wars, Avengers. And I know there's another movie I can't even remember. But there's a lot of big blockbuster movies that are coming in 2015, which is like two years from now. So you probably hear another video about this like a year later, like talking about who's the next <laughs> Batman, which is a question. That I, I like I asked a lot of people, who do you want to play as Batman? And, you know, a lot of people are like what's that thing like they're kind of like leeches i'm not disrespecting anybody this is like leeches they hear one yeah. guy playing like like josh brolin oh he like he must be batman he looks like batman or like before that like um who was it before josh brolin uh tyler hojan oh yeah we want him as batman me honestly i i say to this day forward i am up for anybody 
Other than Christian Bale. You know, a lot of people hate me because yeah. I don't like Christian Bale. I think Christian Bale's Bruce Wayne was phenomenal. I think it was one of the best Bruce Waynes. But as Batman-wise, I still think that we haven't seen a, seen a great Batman. Like, I'm talking about, like, Arkham City Batman. That, that's the kind of Batman I want to see. If you're going to go toe-to-toe with the Man of Steel, what, which we all saw, no, like, you know, spoiler alert, that, you know, he killed Zod. Okay, you're going to need a Batman that knows how to fight. You know, Christian Bale's martial arts... Batman universe wasn't all that great in my opinion. You're gonna need somebody that just is just so quick minded, so fast, so agile. You know, the bat the bat suit is really difficult to do, so you're gonna need somebody that knows how to fit into the suit and everything. Random train, so that's alright, because it's the part where, you know, Christian Bale is facing Rajar Ghoul and they're yeah. in the train now. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys wanna know there's a train in the background that I live by a train station, but that's another thing I wanna ask you, like, um who who would you cast as Batman? Honestly, me, I'm always horrible at casting, but I've heard mm-hmm. of this martial artist guy who's, I guess, been becoming a fan favorite. I'm Got okay it. with him. The only thing with me is I want acting ability first, mm-hmm. then, because as we've seen, when, mm-hmm. especially with, I think, Marvel movies are a great example. It doesn't matter what shape you're in when you're auditioning. Unless you're severely obese, you can get in pretty good shape as as long as you have like at least six months to a year to prepare. Like we saw that with Chris Evans, he had, if I remember correctly, like four to five months to get in shape for Captain America. Mm-hmm. Um, he had to go to Henry, acting classes. I remember and everything. Like he had to play a more serious type because that's what, that's another thing I bring up. You know, what I mean, I don't mean to cut you off. I'm just saying yeah. like uh, like people are like, oh, he can't act. He can't act. He can't do this. I'm like, just because he's in B-rated movies, you're going to judge him off that. But, like, why have you seen this movie? He can't act. I'm like, really? What, what's so bad? Of, like, you know, when I tell him that, what's so bad about his acting? Please tell me. Well, it's just not that great. I'm like, that that's your that's your biggest argument? I can say the same thing about Christian Bale, but I don't. Because, I, you know, I, I say this. I give Christian Bale his credit that his Bruce Wayne was amazing. But Batman-wise, no, I don't think his Batman was that great. It was the, it was the better Batman out of all the ones. But I, like I still say this day forward, we still haven't seen the greatest Batman like actor of all time. Like we still haven't. The reason why people love Christian Bale because of Nolan, and you know, like Nolan has his Nolan dates and you know all that good stuff. But yeah. with Scott Atkins, you really have to watch his movies and you really have to understand what he's going through. Like like you know, people say, oh, he just he's all in action movies. You know how action movies like you know action stars are. Like a Gina Carano, she's a badass Wonder Woman, but she can't act for shit. And I'm like, dude, she just started. Like, what the hell? Like, you know, it's acting takes time. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's and people are like, Yeah, and people are saying like, oh, well, I'd rather have uh, a badass actor than a martial arts. And I'm like, well, I'm kind of like, it's kind of like eh, on both because I kind of want, I, I really want an Arkham City Batman. I, that's like biggest, my biggest peppy. I really want an Arkham City. We already got a badass actor to play Batman. That was Christian Bale. You know, Christian Bale was a badass actor that... People say he did an awesome Batman. I really don't think I, – I really don't think so. But with Scott Atkins, I really think that he can pull out. He's really determined in all his, like, you know, his videos, like all his movies. You, you see him in? And the movie Ninja, he pretty much plays like Bruce Wayne in Batman Begins. You know how, like, he goes searches for Ra's al Ghul? He yeah. does the same thing in Ninja. So, like, he trains, he, he you know, and then I forgot another one. I can't remember where a lot of his movies are about vengeance, about somebody, like, you know, in one part of the movie I was watching, Assassin Games, uh, he was pointing a gun on, like, in the back of somebody's head. And I know Batman doesn't do that, but he was just threatening the person. And he says, I'll come back, and I'll kill you. And then the guy was all scared. He's like, don't, don't, don't. And then you turn around, he disappears. Who does that? Batman does that. So, like, I can see him playing Batman. He has the physical size. He has, you know, he's big. Uh, he really doesn't have, like, a certain weight. You know what I mean? He's, he's always here and there with different, like, he's really de- you know, determined. He knows 12 different martial arts, so that's that's already badass. All I'm saying, the last thing I'm going to say about Scott Atkins, you get him a coach of acting, just, you know, anybody can play Bruce Wayne. Bruce, Bruce Wayne's easy. All you got to pretty much just act like you don't know what you're doing and you're cocky and you have money. That's, you no know, anybody can do that. You know what I mean? It's simple. Yeah. You know, the guy, Armin Hammer did in Social Network, and, and, you know, anybody can do it. You know, if Armin Hammer, if Armin Hammer can do it, then psh, anybody can do it. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, with Scott Atkins, I believe. If it's not going to be Scott Atkins, I, th- I think um, Joe Maganello, the guy from True Blood, can do it. I think he can do it. Either of those two are my, my two picks. So. Well, honestly, me personally, all I really want is, and here's the thing. This is Batman we're talking about. So mm-hmm. considering, honestly, I think Warner Brothers, from a financial standpoint, they're mm-hmm. going to choose a lesser-known actor that maybe has a minor fan base. 
but nothing major because if they have if they're too big of a star, they're obviously going to ask a lot of money because they're playing Batman. But if they're a much more minor uh, actor per se that still has great quality talent, they're mm-hmm. going to be more humble about you know their paycheck because they're just going to be grateful to play a character, and that's going to make them want to play a character even better. Mm-hmm. Now yeah. I don't me personally. I could care less if they're a martial arts person beforehand. Like, that's great mm-hmm. experience, but no matter what martial arts they know, they're still going to have to do choreography for any fight scene in the movie. Mm-hmm. So to yeah. me, that's not a B, that's like a plus, but it's not anything major, just like the whole thing where you can get in great shape for it, just like you're going to have to train for choreography and mm-hmm. et cetera. And you, you touched upon this too. You don't have to be, like, the greatest actor ever, because you can do acting classes, because acting mm-hmm. is just like training for anything else. You have to train for it, and you get better at it. Mm-hmm. And, and oh, no, you, you want to go right, ahead? Um, now, one thing, like, uh, I saw, uh, he has a Twitter, right? Scott Atkins has a Twitter, and, you know, he even said that he had, he, he's like, good, he's like, good news, guys. He's like, one of us has called, and I got an audition for a Batman, which there's also rumors saying that the Batman audition starts, like, the, like the end of August, I think, and then they're supposed to announce the Batman in November. That's just rumors. But if you look at his Twitter, a lot of people are, you know, posting videos that they want him. There's even a, a fan, a, a fan Facebook with him of him being um, Batman. He supports it. He's like, he's like, I'm flattered. I want to say thank you. And he, and he even, I posted a video of like the first video of like the campaign. It was from, I forgot his name. It was like Goku something. Like he started the whole movement of Scott Atkins. And he says, I'm very flattered. And he said, bring it. Like, it's like, if any actor is that, like, you know, determined, like, he's like, yeah, bring it. I'll, I'll play Batman. He's like, I can do it. I love that in the actor. Like, you know, they, that means they're determined to get that role right. You know, if you, like, I hate actors like, eh, yeah, like, Armie Hammer, I'm not really a big fan of superhero movies. So it's just like, that kind of shit is like, okay, from now on, you're never, I hope to God never see you even in a reboot of anything. You Honestly, play some. You think an actor would want to be in one of those movies because that if it essentially solidates you're going to be in more movies, you're going to get a paycheck. Mm-hmm. So you think from a financial standpoint, they'd want to be in it because and this is a lot of times because superhero movies are the thing now. Like they generate a lot of money usually and they're usually bound to make sequels, especially for a character like Superman or Batman, mm-hmm. etc. So you think an actor would be very willing to go for that role because that's a that's kind of like a security thing for them. Mm-hmm. You you think that at least, but I guess in an actor, some actors' mindsets, it's different. Yeah. All right. Enough with the casting thing. Um, the next thing that I want to bring up is that what villains are they are they going to go with in the you know in the Man of Steel two sequel? Like I always say this, and a lot of people say that's that's a good idea. Uh, some people don't think it's a good idea. I still say from this day forward. It would be badass, which they, they won't do this. I don't think they would. I, I still, uh, they should go with Deathstroke, uh, Lex Luthor, and Metallo. That would just be badass because one, you see Deathstroke and Batman go at it, just like in the, you know, in the Arkham Origins that's happening. But it would be good to promote just like that game also, and then it'd just be badass to see like Assassin go at, at you know, Batman. We already saw that with Assassins, but I would just love to see Deathstroke on the big screen. I know a lot of Deathstroke fans would like to see that. With Metallo, that would introduce, you know, Lex Luthor also, and he would be responsible of, of Metallo, and then it would introduce the Kryptonite. If it wasn't, okay, if it's, if it's not Deathstroke, then I would just probably go with, like, Clayface or Killer Croc. That would be pretty badass, just because you need somebody, like, a big character to bat in the face. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, at the beginning of the movie, I could just see it happen. Like, them two are fighting, and then they finally come, to, after they had, like, their beat done, kind of like the Avengers, you know, with Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man. They're gonna have they're gonna have some beat down with that one, but it's gonna be like longer than that one. That one was only like I think six minutes. I'm telling you, it's probably gonna be like ten or fifteen minutes of them fighting. Like somehow they're gonna fight. I don't know how they're gonna do it. Kryptonite in the gloves or something. Well, I've but, been always saying they should do the Smallville route, where Superman has a red sun uh, radiation thing emitting from his Superman symbol, or not mm-hmm. Superman on his Batman symbol from his chest mm-hmm. that we get yeah. Superman, and then well, from well, there you're talking Batman about the comics, him. right? Yeah, Steve okay, loving okay. comics. Yeah, I thought okay, that was a great. Like, I, I don't remember that in, that in Smallville. That. People are gonna be like, I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, there's a there's um comics after uh, is it season eleven, right? Season eleven. Yeah. There's some comics. They're like a dollar, right? They're, 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 they're yeah, it's been. really cheap. Especially um, I think they probably decrease the price to like sixty nine cents if it's like yeah. older. So I don't know exactly how it works, but 
It's a very cheap comic. It's like a digital weekly thing. Yeah, but they're really good. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I read, I, I stopped reading them, I think, after eight or nine. I just got, I got tired of it. But I stopped, yeah, I stopped reading when uh, Superman and Batman first meet off, and then Clark finds out that, you know, who Batman is, like, right off the bat. He's like, Bruce? He's like, how do you know my name? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's it. But that's overall, who would you, who would you go as, as villain-wise? Uh, I think Lex Luthor is a bit of a given. Uh, yeah. A lot of things have pointed to Lex Luthor, plus a lot of people have pointed out that that'd be a great and very, I guess, kind of like a safe way to explain why Bruce Wayne would be here, because the damage on Metropolis is very extensive, so it makes sense that maybe Lex Luthor would like to work with Bruce Wayne to help rebuild it. That could also be a nod to comics, how the Daily Planet is owned by Bruce Wayne, and uh, the apartment Clark lives in is owned by Bruce Wayne. Like, a lot of things in Metropolis are properties of his. So it'd be a cool way to explain that, maybe, for the comic book fans that would get that. Also, it just makes sense that, you know, you have two multi-billionaires rebuilding something that's billions of dollars in property damage. Mm -hmm. So I, I always thought that was, you know, that's a good idea. I don't think they should rush into it, though, because we've gotten Lex Luthor essentially in every Superman movie before mm -hmm. Man of Steel. So I think they need to play it kind of safely. But in my opinion, they need another villain that's actually powerful. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, Honestly, the reason why is because you need to make this movie, you need a villain worthy of having Batman team up with Superman. Lex Luthor, no offense, he's, he's great, but he's a mm -hmm. Superman villain. Superman has beaten him various times in comics and TV shows and etc., by himself, so why would he need Batman all of a sudden to beat him? Mm -hmm. So I'm I don't know who they'd go with. You brought up Metallo. I think Metallo could work to mm -hmm. a degree. I also think you know anyone like Parasite could work. Yeah, to a oh yeah, that's another like, one I forgot. Parasite. They could do something with the Genesis Chambers where he's you know working with them. Like they could easily build up to like a Doomsday thing eventually, but for now they are working with the whole genetics thing and it goes wrong and they do it on, like, a person or something and turns into a parasite. There's so many possibilities because there's so many villains. I just think the only problem is you can't really go with a very popular Batman villain like the Joker, or like the Riddler, or Penguin, any one of them, because they're not really a physical foe. Mm -hmm. And considering the type of director Snyder is, he really likes action. So they're going to need someone that su Superman can punch and immediately the person will not either explode or die. Yeah, it's true. That's why they have, that's why they introduced the Zod. Um, what, like, you liked this, uh, the Man of Steel movie, right? Yeah, I enjoyed it. It wasn't a bad movie. It wasn't the best movie either, but I did enjoy it because I thought it was nice to see a fresh interpretation, a very sci-fi interpretation of Superman. Mm -hmm. uh, How would you feel about, like, people said it was overdue with action? Honestly, I think... I can see why they would complain about it, maybe overdoing it on action. But me personally, I didn't mind it just because we haven't really seen Superman do much action in a live action film, like fist fighting wise. And also I was really looking forward every time to see how he would use his powers during that fight. Mm -hmm. Because one thing that's unique about Superman is that he has all of these powers. So technically there's, an almost unimaginable amount of types of ways he can attack people mm -hmm. or, you know, the foe, etc. So that's really interesting, which also in this movie, I really hope they show Superman maturing as a, like, as a hero, as a protector of people. Cause a lot of people complained about that in Man of Steel, that he didn't really make an obvious effort to save people during the fight. Mm -hmm. So I, I hope they kind of, you know, mature that up and stuff. And I also, I hope with Bruce Wayne, they really do the whole, like, two different identities where you have Bruce Wayne, the carefree playboy, versus Batman, like, the very serious hero. Mm -hmm. But yeah. there, I think Lex Luthor would be a good choice because he's a super genius, or mm -hmm. a genius. He, he's very smart. He's very brilliant. He's a manipulator, entrepreneur, businessman, which I hope they go with that version and not, like, a mad scientist or, like, a political version. At least mm -hmm. maybe do political later, but... Like, go with the businessman route, I think, for now. Mm -hmm. I think that, that 
they kind of need Lex Luthor because considering how smart Batman is, in any way to manipulate him, because the title currently suggests Batman's going to fight Superman. And for that to happen, Batman would have to think Superman is the enemy. And I think the only person that could really manipulate Batman off the bat, or Batman might underestimate his intelligence, is Lex Luthor. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I totally agree. He just pretty much just, you know, Warner Bros. listening, take that, <laughs> take that, you know, take that, and then have some kind of input on that, because that was pretty good. I also so, think, I think Brainiac would be good. Brainiac would be really good, but I, I see him more as, like, a Justice League villain. I just, well, I don't know why. The only reason I say Superman is because lately, for people that are viewing this video on my channel, you'll notice that I've been writing a lot of movie screenplays for the DC Comics. Like, I've been writing Batman, Green Lantern, Superman was my newest one as of currently. And in that, I had Brainiac as a villain, and he came the came to Earth because, you know, obviously he's come to, you know, different civilizations, collecting things unique to them, etc. But mm -hmm. Superman doesn't belong on Earth. Like, exactly. the difference between Superman versus all the other heroes, for a majority of them, is that he's an alien. Yeah. Plus, there's a reason why the Collector of Worlds would be coming there. Mm -hmm. Well, first off, to collect the last remaining Kryptonian, but also to mm -hmm. collect something that doesn't belong to Earth. You know, so would be he has purpose. Really, you know, it'll be really like, like weird if they go with the dark side. Like, what if they go with dark side, dude? Like, that would be like, whoa! Like, and you see Batman fighting on a different planet, and he knows now. For now, he knows the uh, alien uh, martial arts and stuff. Because <laughs> we all know he does. But that would be weird. I always thought Mongo would be a pretty cool, you know, balance. You know, Batman and Superman can take him on. But I know you were saying, oh, Superman can take down Mongo. Well, maybe they can interpret it. You know, I always thought Zod was just a weakling, but in, in the damn ass, too, they made him look like a badass. I'm like, yeah, they probably could do that with another character. I I like Mongol. I was actually, a uh, spoiler alert, for my future cinematic movies, currently in my plan, Mongol's my Justice League villain. For, cool. like, the first Justice League movie. And you mentioned Darkseid. Well, mm -hmm. I wouldn't immediately be up for it. Maybe I might warm up to it later if they actually do, like, announce, hey, we're doing Darkseid for some reason, instead yeah. of doing Justice League with Darkseid. I could warm up to it because I've always thought, because a lot of people are saying they're not going to make a Flash solo movie. Mm -hmm. And it seems more and more like they're not going to because they're going to make a Flash TV show. So, in my opinion, which isn't definite because we had Superman Returns when we had Smallville. So, mm -hmm. it's not saying anything set in stone or anything, but usually the, the way copyright works, they don't try doing that. But anyways, uh, I always mm -hmm. thought if they want to, they could use the boom tubes to connect that to Flash's origin. Like, mm -hmm. you could have the boom tube open up while Flash is working with chemicals, and the combination of that, he's able to, since, you know, the boom tubes are traditionally pictured as yellow, with a, like a yellow aura, kind of like the Flash's mm -hmm. aura, but it opens up space, time, all that stuff. You mm -hmm. could do so, he is kind of changed by that, so he has, he somehow warped ability with the boom tube and you can have that the boom tube is really a manipulation of the speed force something like that and mm -hmm. you can have to flash that i always thought they could do that if they don't want to make a flash solo movie with the traditional origin mm -hmm. but honestly i think besides brainiac uh another an otherworldly villain that i would really go for mm -hmm. Let's see that honestly i would say probably i would like a villain that connects to wonder woman so, oh, you speak about, okay, I just had an idea, right? I don't know why. People are going to think I'm stupid, okay, because I don't know if you noticed, like, there was, like, a lot of Easter eggs, and one of them, the biggest one was the the pods, the empty yeah. pods, and that led to Kara, Supergirl, right? Mm -hmm. Like, okay, so that's another thing, like, we could talk about is that Supergirl is going to, I think she's going to be in it. What if they, what if Lex Luthor captures this whole time? Because people are asking, like, where was, you know, Kara? What if Lex Luthor had Kara and was training her? And then they make a clone of her, and that introduces Power Girl, and then Power Girl is the main villain. What if that? What if that fucking happened, dude? I'm just like flipping <laughs> out. Like, what if that did happen? They like, could do it. For all we know, they could do it. Plus, I I always think that because a lot of people are like they're not gonna have Kryptonite, but I'm pretty sure. Just I think personally, Lex Luthor is gonna make Kryptonite. Like I don't think with the way they're going at it, it's gonna be a natural part of Krypton. I think it's gonna be a synthetic material like a synthetic element. 
Mm-hmm. Because we all know, well, most people, if you don't know, you can synthetically make elements on the periodic table. So I think they could do that. Yeah. Now, the only problem I see with that is then for future movies, how much is Kryptonite going to be involved? Yeah. That's the only problem, because a lot of people don't like the fact that Kryptonite's like your fail-safe to defeat Superman or hurt Superman. Mm-hmm. But then again, he's so powerful, it's usually the only way to do it, so... Unless he faces, like, unless he faces, like, another powerful, like, villain like Darkseid and Brainiac and all these other uh, villains. Yeah, but honestly... I just kind of thought about this. I don't think they want an uber-powerful physical foe for Superman straight off the bat because they don't. I don't think they want to repeat all, all the destruction they did to Metropolis in the first place, mm-hmm. considering insurance of Metropolis is probably insane at this mm-hmm. point. And I, I don't think they want to wrap it up even more. Plus, I think critics would probably complain that it's just like a repeat. Yeah, that's probably why. That's a big battle yeah. scene. I personally liked it because one, if you think about it, Superman, what what comics does he have? Action comics, right? Yeah. And then Batman. That's another thing I didn't like about Christian Bell. Going back to Christian Bell, people are gonna hate me and probably dislike your video. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> hold on. Keep on talking because this train's about to pass by. Keep on talking about something. All right. So I'll come back. another villain I could really go for is the Nymph, Mister Mixoplexo, or something like that. Just because he's always a cool villain. The only problem is that he's very out there because his reality warping abilities. I think that'd be a little bit too much to just straight up introduce in this in these films. But I honestly, I personally believe at the bottom of my heart, they're probably going to go with Lex Luthor and maybe also Brainiac. There's a high chance for Brainiac just because the one problem with Man of Steel is that it was purposely made to be a solo movie. They they had a mm-hmm. few Easter eggs every, you know, here and there, but they didn't really have anything that expanded their universe. A lot of it was central to Metropolis Easter eggs. Yeah. And unlike a, see, Iron Man, the reason why their kind of expanding universe Easter egg did well is because they had Nick Fury with Shield and Shield's connected to everything. Mm-hmm. Now, if they did something similar to that, like introduced Argus or introduced Cadmus or introduced. Any, like, other... Uh, Kitty Waller. Government, yeah. If they did something like that that branched it out past Metropolis, it'd be easier to do this type of stuff because you could speculate easier, but since it all of the Easter eggs were mostly central to Metropolis, it's very hard to do so. Because I mm-hmm. honestly think that they were not planning to do Batman and Superman. I think they're planning on doing Man of Steel 2 just yeah, with the way they're so. doing this. Yeah, because I remember they said, like, uh, David Gore was like, yeah, I can't remember what interview. I think it was, it was, I think it was with me. I don't think it was with IGN. This was like, I think a week or a couple, I think it was like three days before. Now still came out. It was a video asking David Gore, he's like, is the second script done? He's like, well, he's like, it's halfway done. So then I think now he had to redo everything because they said like, you know, he has to start overs because you know, I think they weren't gonna go with it. He probably had another script that was probably badass, and then they were like, yep, nope, we want Batman. Put him in there. And like, David Gore's like, shit, man. <laughs> How am I? What am I gonna do? But another thing, I, like I said about Christian Bell, he didn't really do much detective work, in my opinion. That's another thing I want to see. I want to see a lot of detective shit, like like one part where, like, say for instance, a funny moment, like where Superman and Clark are finding, like, you know, their bygones, and Superman's just gonna like zoom in. He's like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "I'm gonna zoom in in there." And then, like, you know, Batman goes, "There's kryptonite in there." He's like, "How can you tell?" And then his, and then they could be a cool, like, like a cool thing where all his eyes turn white, like, cause, like kind of like the way they did in Batman: The Dark Knight, like, but. They were blue, but, like, you know, yeah. it, it just goes all white. He's like, I'm Batman. And that that would be, like, perfect right there. I would laugh my ass off if they did that. He's like, I know there's kryptonite in there. And Honestly, it, I would laugh if uh, they had a scene where Superman uh, tried looking through um, Batman's, like, cowl to see who he was, but Batman uh, did his research, as Batman should do, and he, like, lined it with lead somewhat so you couldn't see through it. And then yeah. he was like, who are you? And he's like, well, you're Clark Kent. Or something like that, like, you know, just being, like, a smartass, because yeah. Batman yeah. is. But, yeah, they do need detective-oriented Batman. And no offense to Nolan's Batman. Nolan's Batman works for the Nolan universe. But a lot of people don't seem to understand, in the Man of Steel universe, Nolan's Batman would not work. First mm-hmm. off, he's physically deterior- deteriorated to a degree mm-hmm. where he's not in his physical prime by any means. 
Mm-hmm. He could be beat up by two, three people that are well-armed or well-trained to some degree. Like, Bane beat him, and I'm pretty sure Bane couldn't stand up to Superman. At least Nolan Bane couldn't by any means. Now that they do just some kind of, like, the, the, was it the Venom and all that stuff? Yeah, and also, we need a Batman that uses gadgets, because a big, or a lot of people yeah. seem to not understand, in every Batman-Superman fight that's ever happened in comics or other media... There's a lot of gadgets. Yeah, the only reason Batman survived over one second was because of gadgets and well-planning. So Mm -hmm. Batman, he's been shown in the other movies to do the whole planning thing, but the thing they need to really execute is gadgets and detective work. And this needs to be the Batman. I think I might have said this before some other time, but we need the Batman that knows over a 100-something martial arts from the Mm -hmm. comics. And you said, like, Arkham City Batman, Arkham Origins Batman. That's the type of Batman we need. We need the crazy comic book Batman that is believable in a sense, but at the same time, you're like, no one could ever actually do that. Yeah, like, you know, the thing with me with Josh Brolin, like, everyone's like, oh, he, like, you know, he's a good actor. Don't get me wrong. I just don't think... That's like saying the same thing with um, Brian Cranston, uh, the guy who plays uh, Heisenberg. Like, you know, he's potential. Like, you, people want him to play Lex Luthor, but I'm like, you know what? I, I, he's a great actor. Don't get me wrong. He's a tremendous actor, but I'm just going to... Every time he, he comes up, I'm just going to think of Heisenberg. You know, that's just how I am. <laughs> yeah, breaking you know, bad. Oh, that's not Lex Luthor. That's Heisenberg. I'm sorry. I just have... Mark Strong, I can... I can forget him being Sinestro just because, you know, that was all CGI and stuff, so I can understand. And then Kick-Ass, no, I, I just think Mark Strong could, you know, potentially be uh, Lex Luthor. I always thought Michael C. Hall would would be a, also a great Lex Luthor. You know, he's got to shave his head. That's, that's about it. Um, what do you call it? But my biggest thing is just with with the whole Batman thing, I just really hope, really hope they get, like, like you know, a good age. Because Josh Brolin, back to him, he's 46. By the time the movie comes out, He's going to be, what, 48? And then by the time they do it justly, he'll be 50-something years old. We're going to have a 50-year-old Batman? He is me through. Yeah, but people are like, oh, look at Robert Downey Jr. I'm like, yeah, Robert Downey Jr. doesn't do any of his work. And he's mostly in the suit. And it's all CGI. That, that's basically it. Like, you know, he's just in the suit. And he does, like, camera angles. That's about it. And it's all CGI with Iron Man. But with Batman, you got to be fast. you got to be agile. And then if you think about it, like, how many years from Batman Begins to the Dark Knight Rises? Was, that, was it eight? Is it eight? Uh, it's like yeah, I think it was eight to ten. Something yeah, like and uh, and one uh one like one uh one thing that they were talking about Christian Bell that they said like you know what was the biggest thing that you know you didn't like playing Batman or something like that didn't like doing like you know was there like a routine is the honesty the last shooting of the day of the Dark Knight Rises or like he's like I, like one of the last days of the uh, shooting of the Dark Knight Rises he's like I was just very tired I was very tired. And I'm like, see, just because he, he, he was getting old, he, he doesn't do martial arts and all that. Like, he had to learn that from The Batman Begins. And yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, it's good to find somebody that really knows martial arts and you can honestly just have a coach with him and honestly tell him, you're going you're gonna to be a director. You, you're going to tell the actor, okay, that doesn't do, like, you know, do it again. You know what I mean? Like, I don't see why, uh, you, uh, for me, I always thought Scott Atkins was the best choice because he is determined. He's like, you know, he loves to do martial arts. He loves to fight. He's always determined on his work. I want someone like that. You know, with Christian Bell, like, he's a great actor, but as when it comes to fighting, you saw the fighting yourself. It wasn't all that great in the, you know, in the match, and, and I mean, in the, in the Dark Knight trilogy. Like, in my opinion, that's just me, and that's all I got to say about, like, you know, the whole Christian Bell. I, like I said, I was going to go with, that's all, that's all I got to say. It's just, like, he was good as Bruce Wayne, but as Batman, I'll say it again, we yet to see a good Batman. And I know I'm going to get thrashed on because Christian Bell fans. I think I hate him. I don't hate him. I just don't like his Batman. That's just that's just about it. That's just my opinion. That's like me saying, um, what's his name? The guy who played um, Hulk, right? I thought the I thought yeah. the guy, okay, Incredible Hulk. That Hulk was fucking badass. But the Hulk in Avengers, I did not like. He's much more were, passive. Yeah, it's just it's just like it's just my opinion. Just because with the Incredible Hulk, you had everything. He even said Hulk smash and. He just the physical look that Hulk looked badass, and then the the Avengers Hulk it just it reminded me of a gorilla too much, just because the way he, he you know just walked and <sighs> he snorted yeah. and everything it just it just reminded me too much of a gorilla. I'm like no, I, I don't want to see gorilla grow on Avengers screen. That's just that's just how I am. Yeah. But I think I think that's all we can talk about, right? We pretty much covered almost anything. Yeah, we uh, we touched on practically everything yeah. on my head, Batman wise. So. Yeah. 
But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy this video with me in hybrid. Uh, it's going to be on both of our channels. If you want to go ahead and subscribe to his channel, he does amazing things. He does like, uh, is it, what's it called? Uh, comic Versus? Or yeah, something? yeah, like Comic Versus, where you put two characters from different publishers against each other. Comic book bio, character bios, when I uh, do like the biography on a character, yep. like their origins, their powers, abilities, equipment, etc. Mostly yeah. for New 52 characters, just like so people can understand about the characters, maybe get into the comics. And then I've been writing screenplays yeah. for DC movies, and I do other videos, too. And comic reviews and all such movie reviews. And yeah. But yeah. likewise, if you're on my channel, I'll post J-War stuff up here, too, so you can mm -hmm. go check out his stuff. He's yeah. big on uh, Batman Arkham Origins is coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you're going to cover that because you've been yep. talking about it. Also, mm -hmm. he does a lot of Injustice stuff. He's a mm -hmm. lot of videos regarding Injustice. You know, years worth of videos for that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what started my channel was uh, Injustice. From a wish list to now 10,000 subscribers, which is Yeah, it's a big crazy. accomplishment. Yeah, it is. Uh, also, you have other gaming stuff, too. Like, I, I remember seeing, like, a Gears of War video on your channel. I don't know if you still follow up with those videos, but... Well, yeah, my j -War channel is simply comic-related stuff. Like, you know, even uh, Spartacus was on there because, you know, there is a Spartacus comic out and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but on my second channel, I do. I'm gonna be doing Dead Rising 3, Grand Theft Auto 5. Like right now, I have a Dead Rising an hour gameplay. You can go ahead and watch me. It's so much. I, oh my god, I'm just joking around so much. And then me and my buddy are, are gonna be start doing these things called straight thugging. And what we do, we go in GTA and just pretty much mess shit up. You know what I mean? Like it's like that moment yeah. where it's Step Brothers. They come in the room. He's like, let's fuck some shit up. That's just pretty much what we do. Like me and him do that. We just go around and just have a good time. And it's pretty hilarious. Like even. I watch on his on his channel because we both post at the same time, and I laugh just because we had so many funny moments. So if you guys want to go check that out, it's gonna be in the description box. Of course, hybrid. Um, there's already a link on annotation to go subscribe to him, but you also can check the description box. Recommend it. Good guy. Yeah. It's been like a year since we made a video together, so it's like our last video is Batman reboot. Yeah. Next video together, Batman Superman. Yeah, we don't. Two videos. Uh, well, we've done three total. One was the beat down. Yeah, I remember and then, that. Yeah, and then another one was the was the Batman first reboot, and then another one was talking about Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, rumored to be the next Batman, yeah. uh, which which is still up. You know, what I mean, people are saying yes. that Christopher Nolan wants Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, there was rumors that you know Nolan has a couple of people that he wants to play uh, Batman, but I looked at all the actors and I swear to God, they all look like Christian Bale. I'm like, dude, they all look like Christian Bale. What the hell? They all have that. The nice comb hair backwards and like yeah. everybody's like, yeah, well that's what Bruce Wayne looks like. I'm like, no, nah, really. Like Bruce Wayne has like kind of like a what's that hair? I don't even know what it's called, but it's like the rich boy hair. look. Yeah, like like that's, that's what I call it, the rich boy look. None of the Batman's. I think there's only one that had black hair, and, yeah, and George Clooney had gray hair. But the the first the first Batman, what was his name? Who played Beetlejuice? Yeah, yeah, he had black hair. All these other Batman's had like brownish hair. Like Batman has black hair. I, I don't know why they keep on assisting that. Batman has like lightish brown hair. It's black. It's yeah. straight black, black. Even all, even all the Robins have black hair. This is how it is. Yeah, and honestly, actually, uh, if they do introduce a sidekick like Batman, Nightwing, etc., mm -hmm. in the Batman Superman movie, I would be up for that. As long as they give some background to it, to a degree, they just don't introduce it or like, hey, we assume you guys know it. But I can see Jake Gyllenhaal getting the role somewhat, or at least getting far enough on auditioning, considering his sister. Yeah, he's a good actor. With Nolan. And Nolan's no one really as far as I know, if you have a connection to him, you have a very high chance in getting him getting into a movie that he's involved with. Mm -hmm. and he also likes recasting too, so mm -hmm. as we've seen with Mike um Michael Caine, he's in practically every Nolan movie mm -hmm. I think has it's ever been made that I know of for mm -hmm. past five years, I think. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Alrighty, well, we've done this video. I think this is the longest video we've ever done because we just had oh, so much probably. to cover. It's been yeah. a year, so that's probably why. <laughs> yeah, true. If you guys have made it this far, thank you. Yes, thank you. If you didn't, then it's okay. We still love you. Yeah. But anyways, guys, make sure you hit that like button, share this off of Facebook and Twitter if you can. It really helps out. And yeah, if you have your opinions, please leave a comment below. Yeah, I know my my subscribers are gonna be very vocal. See, a lot of them, a lot of them, I have to give credit. They aren't Nolanized. They really understand the fact that 
Mm-hmm. First off, people have different opinions, but also they understand the fact that Nolan's Batman isn't comic book Batman. Mm-hmm. So I'm happy mm-hmm. a lot of my viewers know that. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you always, every once in a while, you get that one guy who's like, you know. But mm-hmm. luckily, my subscribers always, I don't usually comment back immediately on the comments. So usually mm-hmm. they comment back at them for me. So I'm like, okay, it's yep. great. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that is it, guys. Um, you want to, uh, you know, do you want to end it or you want me to end it? Oh, you can end it. I started it. Okay, I ended. All right, guys. I'm Jaber and Hybrid. Of course, you can go ahead and subscribe to him, like I already said. And we just hit you with that one-two punch. Make sure you check out everything. Everything we talked about is in the description box. So if you missed anything, you can go ahead and catch up in the description box. Make sure you follow his Twitter and my Twitter also. And yeah, that is it. You have a good day.